Come closer to me, push close, my lovers, and take the best I possess. Yield closer and closer, and give me the best you possess. This is unfinished e business with me how is it with you? I was chilled with the cold types, cylinder, wet paper between us, male and female. I pass so poorly with paper and types, I must pass with the contact of bodies and souls. American masses I do not thank you for liking me as I am, and liking the touch of me I know that it is good for you to do so. This is the carol of occupations, ten in the labor of engines and trades, and the labor of fields, I find the developments, and find the eternal meanings. Workmen and workwomen, were all educations, practical and ornamental, well displayed out of me. What would it amount to? Were I as the head teacher, charitable proprietor, wise statesman, what would it amount to? Were I to you as the boss employing and paying you, would that satisfy you? The learned, virtuous, benevolent, and the usual terms. A man like me, and never the usual terms. Neither a servant nor a master am I, I take no sooner a large price than a small price I will have my own. Whoever enjoys me, twenty I will be even with you, and you shall be even with me. If you stand at work in a shop, I stand as nigh as the nighest in the same shop. If you bestow gifts on your brother or dearest friend, I demand as good as your brother or dearest friend. If your lover, husband, wife, is welcome by day or night, I must be personally as welcome. If you become degraded, criminal, ill, then I become so for your sake. If you remember your foolish and outlawed deeds, do you think I cannot remember my own foolish and outlawed deeds? If you carouse at the table, I carouse at the opposite side of the table. If you meet some stranger in the streets, and love him or her why I often meet strangers in the street, and love them. Why, what have you thought of yourself? Is it you then that thought yourself less? Thirty is it you that thought the president greater than you? Or the rich better off than you? Or the educated wiser than you? Because you are greasy or pimpled, or that you were once drunk, or a thief, or diseased, or rheumatic, or a prostitute or are so now, or from frivolity or impotence, or that you are no scholar and never saw your name in print, do you give in that you are any less immortal? Souls of men and women. It is not you I call unseen, unheard, untouchable and untouching, it is not you I go argue pro and con about, and to settle whether you are alive or no, I own publicly who you are, if nobody else owns. Grown, half grown, and babe, of this country and every country, indoors and outdoors, one just as much as the other, I see, forty and all else behind or through them. The wife and she is not one jot less than the husband, the daughter and she is just as good as the son, the mother and she is every bit as much as the father. Offspring of ignorant and poor, boys apprenticed to trades, young fellows working on farms, and old fellows working on farms, sailor men, merchantmen, coasters, immigrants, all these I see but nigher and farther the same I see, none shall escape me, and none shall wish to escape me. I bring what you much need, yet always have, fifty not money. Amours, dress, eating, but as good, I send no agent or medium, offer no representative of value, but offer the value itself. There is something that comes home to one now and perpetually, it is not what is printed, preached e. Discussed it eludes discussion and print, it is not to be put in a book it is not in this book, it is for you. Whoever you are it is no farther from you than your hearing and sight are from you. It is hinted by nearest, commonest, readiest it is ever provoked by them. You may read in many languages, yet read nothing about it, you may read the President's message, and read nothing about it there, nothing in the reports from the State Department or Treasury Department, or in the daily papers or the weekly papers, sixty or in the census or revenue returns, prices current, or any accounts of stock. The sun and stars that float in the open air, the apple-shaped earth, and we upon it surely the drift of them is something grand. I do not know what it is, except that it is grand and that it is happiness, and that the enclosing purport of us here is not a speculation, or bon mot, or reconnaissance, and that it is not something which by luck may turn out well for us, and without luck must be a failure for us, and not something which may yet be retracted in a certain contingency. The light and shade, the curious sense of body and identity, the greed that with perfect complaisance devours all things, the endless pride and outstretching of man, unspeakable joys and sorrows, the wonder every one sees in every one else he sees, and the wonders that fill each minute of time forever, what have you reckoned them for, camarado? Seventy have you reckoned them for a trade, or farm work? 
or for the profits of a store, or to achieve yourself a position, or to fill a gentleman's leisure, or a lady's leisure? Have you reckoned the landscape took substance and form that it might be painted in a picture? Or men and women that they might be written of, and songs sung? Or the attraction of gravity, and the great laws and harmonious combinations, and the fluids of the air, as subjects for the savens? Or the brown land and the blue sea for maps and charts? Or the stars to be put in constellations and named fancy names? Or that the growth of seeds is for agricultural tables, or agriculture itself? Old institutions these arts, libraries, legends, collections, and the practice handed along in manufactures will we rate them so high? Will we rate our cash and business high? I have no objection, 80 I rate them as high as the highest then a child born of a woman and man I rate beyond all rate. We thought our union grand, and our constitution grand. I do not say they are not grand and good, for they are, I am this day just as much in love with them as you, then I am in love with you and with all my fellows upon the earth. We consider Bibles and religions divine I do not say they are not divine, I say they have all grown out of you, and may grow out of you still, it is not they who give the life it is you who give the life, leaves are not more shed from the trees, or trees from the earth, than they are shed out of you. When the psalm sings instead of the singer, 90 when the script preaches instead of the preacher, when the pulpit descends and goes, instead of the carver that carved the supporting desk, when I can touch the body of books, by night or by day, and when they touch my body back again, when a university course convinces, like a slumbering woman and child convince, when the minted gold in the vault smiles like the night watchman's daughter, when warranty deeds loaf in chairs opposite, and all my friendly companions, I intend to reach them my hand and make as much of them as I do of men and women like you. The sum of all known reverence I add up in you, whoever you are, the president is there in the White House for you it is not you who are here for him, the secretaries act in their bureaus for you not you here for them, one hundred the Congress convenes every twelfth month for you, laws, courts, the forming of states, the charters of cities, the going and coming of commerce and mails, are all for you. List close, my scholars dear, all doctrines, all politics and civilization, exerge from you, all sculpture and monuments, and anything inscribed anywhere, are tallied in you. The gist of histories and statistics as far back as the records reach, is in you this hour, and myths and tales the same. If you were not breathing and walking here, where would they all be? The most renowned poems would be ashes, orations and plays would be vacuums. All architecture is what you do to it when you look upon it. Did you think it was in the white or grey stone, or the lines of the arches and cornices? 110 All music is what awakes from you when you are reminded by the instruments. It is not the violins and the cornets it is not the oboe nor the beating drums, nor the score of the baritone singer singing his sweet romance and all that of the men's chorus, nor that of the women's chorus. It is nearer and farther than they. Will the whole come back then? Can each see signs of the best by a look in the looking glass? Is there nothing greater or more? Does all sit there with you, with the mystic, unseen soul? Strange and hard that paradox true I give, objects gross and the unseen solar one. House building, measuring, sawing the boards, blacksmithing, glass blowing, nail making, coopering, tin roofing, shingle dressing, 120 ship joining, dock building, fish curing, ferrying. Flagging of sidewalks by flaggers, the pump, the pile driver, the great derrick, the coal kiln in Bricklin, coal mines, and all that is down there, the lamps in the darkness, echoes, songs, what meditations, what vast native thoughts looking through smudged defaces, ironworks, forge fires in the mountains, or by the river banks, men around feeling the melt with huge crowbars, lumps of ore, the dew combining of ore, limestone, coal, the blast furnace, and the puddling furnace the loop lump at the bottom of the melt at last the rolling mill, the stumpy bars of pig iron, the strong, clean-shaped T-rail for railroads, oil works, silk works, white lead works, the sugar house, steam saws, the great mills and factories, stone cutting, shapely trimmings for far aids, or window or door lintels the mallet, the tooth chisel, the jib to protect the thumb, oakum, the oakum chisel, the corking iron the kettle of boiling vault cement and the fire under the kettle, the cotton bale, the stevedore's hook, the saw and buck of the sawyer, the mould of the moulder, the working knife of the butcher, the ice saw, and all the work with ice, the implements for daguerreotyping the tools of the riga, grappler, sailmaker, block maker, goods of gutta-percha, 
papier mac, colors, brushes, brush making, glazier's implements, 130 euro robust, sacred, I cannot tell you how I love you, all I love Marikov for, is contained in men and women like you, the veneer and glue pot, the confectioner's ornaments, the decanter and glasses, the shears and flat iron, the awl and knee strap, the pint measure and quart measure, the counter and stool, the writing pen of quill or metal the making of all sorts of edge tools, the brewery, brewing, the malt, the vats, everything that is done by brewers, also by wine makers, also vinegar makers, leather dressing, coach making, boiler making, rope twisting, distilling, sign painting, lime burning, cotton picking electro plating, electrotyping, stereotyping, stave machines, planing machines, reaping machines, plowing machines, thrashing machines, steam wagons, the cart of the carmen, the omnibus, the ponderous tray, pyrotechny, letting off colored fireworks at night, fancy figures and jets, beef on the butcher's stall, the slaughterhouse of the butcher, the butcher in his killing clothes, the pens of live pork, the killing hammer, the hog hook, the scalder's tub, gutting, the cutter's cleaver, the packer's maul, and the plenteous winter work of pork packing, flour works, grinding of wheat, rye, maize, rice the barrels and the half and quarter barrels, the loaded barges, the high piles on wharves and levees, 140 the men, and the work of the men, on railroads, coasters, fish boats, canals, the daily routine of your own or any man's life the shop, yard, store, or factory, these shows all near you by day and night workmen, whoever you are, your daily life, in that and them the heft of the heaviest in them far more than you estimated, and far less also, in them realities for you and me and them poems for you and me, in them, not yourself you and your soul enclose all things, regardless of estimation, in them the development good in them, all themes and hints, I do not affirm what you see beyond is futile I do not advise you to stop, I do not say leadings you thought great are not great, but I say that none lead to greater, than those lead to. 150 will you seek afar off? You surely come back at last, in things best known to you, finding the best, or as good as the best, in folks nearest to you finding the sweetest, strongest, lovingest, happiness, knowledge, not in another place, but this place not for another hour, but this hour. Man in the first you see or touch always in friend, brother, nighest neighbor woman in mother, lover, wife, the popular tastes and employments taking precedence in poems or anywhere. You work women and workmen of these states having your own divine and strong life, and all else giving place to men and women like you.